Magandang magandang umaga mga kapatid. Welcome once again to our daily morning devotion and hope and pray na lahat po tayo ay handa muli na makinig ng salita ng Panginoon and most specially itong araw na to idulog natin sa ating Panginoon sa ating uh, pananalangin sa bawat pamilya at bawat Uh, mag-asawa kasama ang kanilang mga anak so bago tayo mag-umbisa let's continue to be uh, in tune with the power of the Holy Spirit and our lives um, before we start we continue also to uh, open our hearts, our minds spiritually so that we'll be able to understand what the Lord uh, will put in our hearts will impress in our hearts as we pray together for our families for every marriages, for every relationship, and every children in the family. Father God in heaven, we worship and glorify your most precious name. Be exalted and be magnified forever. We thank you for this beautiful morning that you open once again our eyes to see the beauty of your creation. As we entrust this devotion to your hands, please empower us with your Holy Spirit that we may be able to understand your message with joy and peace in our hearts. Let your word penetrate in our hearts as we fully submit to your perfect will for your honor and glory. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. So our scripture for today will be found in Mark 11 verses 22 to 25. Then Jesus said to the disciples, Have faith in God. I tell you the truth, you can say to this mountain, May you be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and it will happen. But you must really believe it will happen, and have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you receive it, it will be yours. But when you are praying, first forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against, so that your Father in heaven will forgive your sins too. So dito makikita natin na ang Panginoon, Jesus, ay uh, na, nire-remind niya ang kanyang mga disipulo kung ano talaga yung uh, kahulugan ng prayer and at the same time, kung paano tayo manalangin na Nandun yung ating pananampalataya, nandun yung ating pagtitiwala sa ating Panginoong Hesus na gagawin niya yon na ayon sa kanyang kalooban, na ayon sa kanyang plano, at layunin sa ating buhay. At sinabi rin po do doon sa uh, verse 24, sinabi, If you believe, sabi niya, you will receive it and it will be yours. So, napakaganda po na reminder ito sa ating buhay habang tayo ay nananalangin dahil alam natin na ang Panginoong Jesus ay handang uh, makinig sa lahat ng ating panalangin and as we continue to trust Him and seek Him through His words and through our prayers and through reading with, with, between the scriptures, we will uh, find it in a way na God is working in our lives and through our lives. At sinabi pa dito sa verse 25, sinabi niya, But when you are praying, first forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against, so that your Father in heaven will forgive your sins. So, ito pa yung isang reminder sa atin ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na kung mayroon tayong galit, mayroon tayong hinanakit sa ating dibdib, or mayroon tayong hindi nare-release-release sa ating buhay na mga bitterness, mga unforgiveness, ang gusto ng Panginoon na i-release po natin yun, pakawalan natin yun, patuloy tayo na magpatawad sa lahat ng mga nakasakit sa atin, sa lahat na nagbetray sa atin, sa lahat ng makasakit sa ating damdamin. We continue to forgive them, ask God's guidance, ask God's uh, help for us because hindi natin makakaya ito kung wala yung biyaya ng Panginoong Heso Kristo sa ating buhay. So, iyon po. Ang isang unforgiveness, ito isang hindrance for us the ang Panginoon cannot work in our lives. So, sabi nga niya, if you forgive others, you forgive yourselves, our God in heaven will also forgive us. So, ayun po, mga kapatid, since uh, we are in preparation for the upcoming prayer and fasting next month, let our hearts be often be in the leading and guidance of the Holy Spirit. 
May our lives be aligned to God's will as we wait patiently to fulfill His perfect plan in us and through us. So today, let us focus on our family as we lift them up to the Lord. We know that during the season of our lives, we can be given the great assurance that godly living is first experience in our home and our family. So our title for today is Godly Living in a Family. It is a place where we experience the unconditional love of our parents and in return, as children, we also need to obey and submit to their authority over our lives. So let us pray within the scripture as we read on Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 to 4. So let's continue to linger in the presence of God as we believe by faith that God will work in ways that we cannot see. And most especially, we also know that even in the midst of trials, God is working in our lives and through our lives. Hindi natin alam na behind those trials, behind those pains, behind those sufferings, God is working in our lives. So, dito, as we pray in the scriptures, basahin ko muna yung uh, scripture dito sa Ephesians chapter 6, verse 2 to 4. Sabi dito, Children, obey your parents because you belong to the Lord. For this is the right thing you to do. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise. If you honor your father and mother, things will go well for you and you will have a long life on the earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger by the way you treat them. Rather, bring them up with the discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. So, dito makikita rin natin na uh, there is a responsibility sa isang family, ang, ang children, we need also to honor and submit to our parents and also obey them as we also obey the Lord. And at the same time, uh, sinabi rin dito that fathers, we should not exasperate the children. So, kinakailangan din dito na uh, nandun yung godly discipline to our children. Huwag dating hayaan na ang relasyon ng bawat uh, membro ng pamilya ay magkawatak-watak dahil sa misunderstanding, dahil sa conflict, dahil sa pataasan ng pride, or whatsoever na uh, nilalagay ng kaaway sa ating buhay. So, ito yung ating focus ngayon. Let us uh, continue to pray for every families that God will work in every lives, in every parents, in every marriages, in every children of every family. God loves us so much that being blessed with a family, we can fully experience His gracious love, His mercy, compassion, divine provisions, and protection. It's very clear in the scripture that God's original plan for us is to live to the fullest. As we know that family is the basic unit of the society and if we fully trust God, we will experience His goodness and faithfulness in us and through us for His honor and glory. So let us pray. Father in heaven, as we continue to praise and glorify your holy name, May your will be done in our lives. We pray for every family represented by my brothers and sisters that you will be the center of their lives, the relationship as husband and wife, and to their respective children. We believe by faith that as we pray together, we are pushing down the darkness that every attack of the enemy will not prosper. We commit unto your hands, especially those who are in the brink of separation or broken marriages. Please, God, intervene in the relationship. Let your love flow, and the spirit of humility and forgiveness will prevail. Please strengthen their faith in you, 
that in times of trials, they will continue to trust your ways, believing that you are the author of love. Continue to speak in their hearts that you are a God of restoration and reconciliation. As you have promised in Matthew 19.6, Since they are no longer two but one, let no one split apart what God has joined together. We also commit to you all the parents who are struggling with their children. Please continue to empower them with spiritual wisdom as you guide each of us to manage and to discipline our children with godly discipline as you continue to mold their character, behavior, and attitude as they will grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ as you have promised in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. As we entrust all the working parents here or abroad, may your loving guidance and protection be with them as they continue to be the breadwinner of their families. Let them believe that you are the ultimate source of everything we need and they will be strengthened every day by your divine favor and protection. We also commit unto your hands all the children that they will consistently honor and obey their parents with or without reward in a tangible way but rather as an act of love and worship to the Lord. Let their hearts be continually aligned with God's will as He gradually fulfill His purpose and plans in their lives. We pray that you will cover them with your holy precious blood especially with their physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual aspect of their lives. And as we commit all these concerns unto your perfect hands, may we fully see the bigger picture of your perfect plan in our every families. Please restore every broken hearts, broken marriages, broken homes, as you revive their spirit with joy, peace, hope, and unity, that in you alone, O God, where we can find the true meaning of life. Let godly love prevail in every home, and your glorious presence will cover each member of every family as we continue to trust your perfect will. We are claiming your victory over our marriage lives, our children, our relatives, and all the people that became part of our journey in life. May your holy name be glorified and magnified forever as we acknowledge your lordship and kingship over our lives. We also commit unto your hands all the members of our families who are suffering from every sickness, pains, anxieties, and depression. May they find comfort and healing upon their physical body as we claim by faith your promise in Jeremiah 17, 14, Heal them, Lord, and they will be healed. Save them, and they will be saved. For you are the one we praised. We believe with all our hearts that you will restore, rebuild, and revive every family. According to your perfect plan, as we continue trusting your ways and find purpose in our lives. As we seek you every day to our devotion, may your word penetrate in our hearts so that we will continue to be blessed and be a blessing to others. We thank you, Father, for your love, your mercy, and grace that sustain us every day. You know every heart, you know, you know every families, you know their names, O oh God. So today, as we commit every family into your perfect hands, continue, God, to cover us with your glorious, precious blood. Continue to empower us with your Holy Spirit, because apart from you, we are nothing. But we can do all things through Jesus Christ, who gives us the strength. We thank you, Father, for your loving kindness your goodness and faithfulness in our lives. And today, Father, 
as we end this devotion, continue to speak unto our hearts. Let your word be put in our heart as we apply it every day of our lives. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the highest praise, highest honor, highest thanksgiving, highest adoration. In the mighty, sweet, precious, holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and Amen. So, mga kapatid, I hope and pray that let's continue praying, asking God's will in our lives. Dahil sinabi niya sa sanyang salita, if we seek Him, we will find Him. If we knock on the door, He will open for us. If we ask, He will give it unto us. So, my brothers and sisters, let's continue to trust the Lord in our lives. Continue to put our faith in Him that nothing is impossible to God for those who trust in Him. Maraming salamat po! Have a blessed day and uh, continue also to uh, be in tune also to our morning prayer every Monday to Friday at 6 a.m. And thank you for you are always there uh, joining with us. And also our 8 o'clock habit every uh, Monday to Saturday every 8 p.m. And also the kids online Bible through stories every Saturday at 10 a.m. And the ladies Bible study every Saturday at 2 p.m. And Sunday service Sunday 9 a.m. And also we have also the online services if you cannot uh, attend the face-to-face -face fellowship. And we have the women's book of Genesis at uh, 3 p.m. every Sunday. I hope and pray that lahat ng mga kababaihan nakagaya damin. Uh, we are, you are invited to join us. Napaka exciting po and at the same time very interesting lahat ng mga salita ng Panginoon habang tayo ay nag-interact and nag-sharing our insights, our experience and testimonies. And even we have also the men's fellowship every Sunday at 5 p.m. and the Alabut every other Sunday. So in lang po mga kapatid, we thank you and we love you with the love of the Lord. Have a blessed day. Bye!